Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. On today's episode, we're gonna take this wet tasteless, actually it tastes very much like cauliflower, soggy. It's just, it's just not, a, it's not good. So we're going to take this and turn it into something much better. Cauliflower rice. If you are losing weight or just want to eat healthier, get more vegetables in your diet, then you probably know and have seen and have tasted this. Uh, it's, it's like fantastic. I eat it constantly. I always have it in my freezer, but it's absolutely disgusting if you just microwave it and put it in a bowl. It's ugh. The first step you want to do is microwave this stuff like normal. So throw it in the microwave and we'll be right back. After you microwave your cauliflower, you're going to spray your pan with some olive oil and then you're going to put the cauliflower in the pan. You're, not. you're going to spread this out a little bit. What this does is make some of the moisture in the cauliflower rice evaporate. The bigger the pan, the better. More surface area to get the uh, cauliflower evaporated. All right, so now to this, you're going to add some salt and pepper. Salt. Here's the key. You're going to season this. Yes, season it as much as you want with whatever you want. I did onion powder. I'm also going to do garlic powder. I also use this stuff. I got it from Trader Joe's. I love it. If I do any sort of Asian like stir fry with this rice, I usually add this um, in it. If you're doing like burritos or Mexican, put some Southwest seasoning in it or some cumin. So I'm just going to add some of this and then you're going to mix it all up. You can see it's much drier now. There's hardly any um, liquid moisture in this rice now. You can serve it like this and this whole thing is 70 calories. This whole pan 70 calories. If you're keto, go ahead, put some butter in there, put some olive oil, some avocado oil. Um, I'm trying to keep my fats down a little bit, so I just sprayed the pan. If you're not worried about your carbs and you're just looking to cut some calories, what you can do is you can cut regular rice with Kelly rice to bring the calories down and the volume up. Once you take your Kelly rice out of the microwave, you can go ahead and add some rice to it. This is leftover rice, so it's a big ball. And you can cook um, the two rices together. Since I wanted to show you just the Cali rice, I did not heat this up. So I'm just gonna break this up and I'm going to heat it up just a little bit right now. And then I'll show you what the finished product is. Um, this is probably about two cups of rice. And it's about two and a quarter cup of Cali rice. So we're just gonna heat this up and mix it around together and we will see the finished result. Here's the finished result in the bowl. As you can see, the Cali rice has all that amazing seasoning in it. And you can see speckles of jasmine rice. Let's see how this tastes. You know, if you don't tell your kids that there's cauliflower in that, they will not know. It's so good. So if you're trying to switch your family over to cauliflower rice, um, I suggest mix it. It's so good. I like oh, a little cauliflower on my, my forehead. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at the calories of the rice. So if I just put in jasmine rice, let's see how much four cups of rice is because there's four cups of rice in the saucepan right now. 853 calories. 
going to drop it down to two cups because there's actually two cups of rice in the pan. And that's 427 calories. Drop it down to one cup, which most people eat one cup of rice, is 213. Lastly, half a cup of rice is 107 calories, which is what I would consume. Now we're going to look up cauliflower rice and see how many calories cauliflower rice is. So let's find that. All right, 32 calories for one cup. Now if I do a half a cup of that, it's 16 calories. So if you do half and half, it's only 123 calories. To compare that, if we did one cup of jasmine rice, 213 calories. So you see the difference there, 123 to 213. That's almost 100 calories difference. Uh, it's a pretty good switch if you ask me, and an easy switch. What if we just wanted to do cauliflower rice, no jasmine rice? So let's uh, let's delete the jasmine rice completely, and we're going to bump the cauliflower rice up to one cup. So that is only 32, 32 calories instead of 213. This is a win-win all around. I don't eat rice all the time. Um, I eat... I do eat Cali rice more than regular rice, but I'm definitely going to cut it if I'm going to have regular rice because it, it literally gives me the exact same effect. Like I cannot tell there's cauliflower in that at all. There's no cauliflower taste at all. It has that like wet sticky rice feeling if you know what I'm talking about. It's so good. Trust me, you have to try it. If you liked today's video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, have you tried this? What's your favorite way of cooking Cali rice? And what kind of diet do you use? Don't forget to hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you know when I post more content like this. Until next time.